Lawrence had more than 20 plastic surgery procedures and has no plans to stop. Her friend Julie fears if Tam continues, she'll wind up botched or lose her life. Julie, why are you afraid that your friend is risking her life for her appearance? Because I don't think she has a real idea of what makes her happy. And I'm afraid that she will just keep on and on and on until her body rejects everything. Mm. I want for her to finally realize is that she is beautiful and that her heart is as big as her boobs. <laughs> you know? She does That's not. Pretty big. <laughs> Tam, now I've heard that you were hospitalized I was. after one of your procedures. Could you tell us about that? I was engaged for six years. I was with somebody I love very much. Mm. And right before the wedding, I found out he cheated on me. That's a hard pill to swallow. So I uh, went and got some boobs, new ones. I decided I needed to go to Italy and go have fun. About two days before I left Rome, my left boob started swelling up and swelling up and swelling up. Mm. It was really bad. And then um, fluid started leaking out of it. Mm -hmm. And I thought, well, this is not normal. So I didn't want to go to any hospitals there. So two days later, I got on a plane, came home, went straight to the emergency room. They took one look at me, one look at it, hospitalized me. I had an infection in my left boob. The doctor came in and said, hey, we have to drain this fluid. We have to take this implant out. And literally the first thing that went through my mind was, oh my gosh, I can't be without my boobs. Wow. Mm. Not Even though she almost lost her kidneys during this process. Right. The, so as well? Yes. Yeah, I did. Her kidneys shut down. She, she was in the hospital for one month. She almost died. Took the implant out. Mm. And the antibiotics they gave me to kill it were so strong, they shut my kidneys down. Mm. Wow. Julie, I see that you're very concerned about this. You're getting really emotional. Are you afraid for I your am. friend's life? I really am, because she is so fantastic like she is. Right. And I just, I don't know how to help her see that other than just encourage her and be with her and tell her how fabulous she is. Right. Pam, how does it make you feel? You're recounting this very serious medical, you know, experience that you have and you're laying in a hospital bed being told that you have an infection, your kidney's shutting down and you're thinking, not, oh my God, I can die, but oh my God, what about my boo? I, I, my thought, honestly, I called it flapjack afterward. You like, called it what? Flapjack, <laughs> because it was just like, I didn't leave the house for almost three months because I was completely lopsided on one side. That didn't stop you from having another surgery, did it? No. Before she was supposed to. So, really, wow. tell us about that. That's true. The, the doctors recommended that I waited six months until the infection was completely out of my body. Mm -hmm. but, How long did um, you wait? I waited three months. Mm. Six weeks. And you could have died. I, I know. That infection was life-threatening. It was life-threatening. It it's life a one-month hospitalization for an otherwise very normal, healthy person. A month hospitalization when you're healthy, it's a big deal. Did that yeah. not scare you? It, it scared me.